Hello, welcome back to Little Growing Bones. So if you're new here in between the Sazi, I talk about pediatric orthopedic surgery. I talk about it in a way that's very easy to understand. Today we're diving into a rare but important condition called congenital vertical talus. And it's sometimes it's known as the rocker bottom foot deformity. So if you've never heard of it, don't worry. I'll explain everything you need to know, including what it is, what causes it, how it is diagnosed, and how we treat it. So let's get started. What is congenital vertical talus? So congenital vertical talus, or CVT for short, is a rare foot deformity that babies are born with. It affects the alignment of the bones in the foot, causing the sole to uh, curve upwards in a way that resembles the bottom of a rocking chair. So hence that's how the name comes about, the rocker bottom foot. So normally the talus, which is a bone in the foot and a very key bone in the foot, sits in a specific way to support walking. So in CVT, the talus is positioned abnormally and the bones on top of it shift in a way that pushes the front of the foot upwards while the heel drops down. This doesn't only make the foot cosmetically unappealing, but can also make it difficult to walk, especially as a child gets older. Now let's talk about the causes of congenital vertical talus or the causes of CVT. Now, now you may be wondering why does this happen? So the exact cause isn't always clear, but CVT is often associated with other conditions, uh, conditions like genetic conditions. So conditions like arthrogryposis palsies or spina bifida are often associated with um, congenital vertical talus. Also, neuromuscular conditions where the nerves and muscles don't develop properly can predispose to CVT. In some cases, it happens on its own without any underlying condition, and this is seen in isolated CVT. So, because of these possible connections, doctors often check the check for the presence of other medical conditions when diagnosing CVT. So things like heart-related conditions, kidney-related conditions, other bone-related conditions all need to be ruled out. Now let's talk about the symptoms of CVT. The main sign of CVT is the rocker bottom appearance of the foot. So parents may notice that their baby's foot may not look like other baby's foot, or if it's on one side, they may notice that the two feet look different. So the foot curves upwards at the front and downwards at the heel. So unlike other foot deformities or things like metatarsis adductors or calcadiovalgus deformity, you can't simply stretch the foot back into normal position. If it is left untreated, it can lead to problems with standing, walking, or even pain in the foot as the child grows. How do we diagnose CVT? So doctors can easily spot a CVT at birth just by looking at the foot, at the foot's appearance, the foot shape. So to com but, but to confirm the diagnosis, we'll need to get an X-ray, which clearly shows that, which clearly shows how the bones are misaligned. In some cases, a genetic condition is suspected. Additional tests might be recommended. Now let's talk about the treatment of CVT. The good news is that CVT is treatable. The treatment of CVT is categorized into three major steps. One is the serial casting and manipulation. Two is surgery and three is bracing. The treatment approach depends on whether it's an isolated uh, CVT or it's associated with like a bigger medical condition. In general, um, we'll talk about these three main these three main categorizations in the treatment. So now let's talk about so let's talk about the three main categorizations in the treatment. One is serial casting. So this serial casting is the first step that's done in most babies. Doctors will gently stretch the foot into a better position or manipulate it by placing the hands in physical position to help realign the bones where they should be. This is done serially, this is done routinely until the foot um, gets into the desired position. Once the foot has got into the desired position, the thing that follows is surgery. So once the foot is in a better position, the surgery is often needed to correct the bone alignment permanently. This involves repositioning the talus, remember that bone I talked about. Uh, it helps reposition the talus and securing it with a small pin. So after surgery, the babies are put back in a cast for a specific period of time until everything has healed down. And when the casts are removed, then they are taken into special braces. The third and final part is normally bracing. So the babies wear a special brace to keep the foot in the corrected position. So what happens if the CVT is not good? Unfortunately, the condition won't improve on its own. Over time, untreated CVT can cause things like difficulty walking because the foot can properly bear weight. It's bearing weight on the wrong on the wrong surfaces, and walking can become painful and unsteady. 
uh, and just like we talked about, they can get chronic pain. As the child grows, the normal foot position can cause pain and discomfort. They do get arthritis and uh, long-term disability, so the abnormal foot mechanics can lead to joint damage and arthritis later in life. So that's why we need to treat this and we don't need to ignore it. And every doctor should know what a CVT looks like so that it's not missed because it's very often missed and children come later on. So there you have it. Congenital vertical tail loss might be rare, but with the right treatment, the kids can grow up to walk around and play just like everyone else. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more easy to understand pediatric orthopedic content. And until next time, visit on Natural Green Bones.